This has been a trip of epic proportions. In 47 years of covering news and entertainment professionally around the planet, after serving three life sentences in foreign prisons, and thanks to diplomatic services at the State Department, the longest of those three life sentences being five days, I can honestly say I've experienced more than most. Being dropped in the middle of war zones, covering things most people would not be able to cover because of what's required to do it. And beyond. And where I'm at tonight, safely at the moment, this area of the world has been one of the most difficult areas I have ever been at, including third world countries. And for those of you who have gotten texts from me reaching out for help, who have had the infinite wisdom to know more about my life than I do, and suggesting that I need to get help, Financial help, yes, from all the terrorists and the people who have hacked my accounts and try to make me bankrupt to shut down the films I'm working on on black markets and global warming. Absolutely, yes, I do need help. Medical help, mm, yeah, from the assaults, not mental help, not incarceration, not some of the things that some of you have so kindly suggested. So for those of you who seem to know more about my life than me, I ask you to take a look in the mirror and maybe the stuff that you've been telling me I need is truly what you need. What I need is understanding and compassion from friends, not criticism, ridicule, and retribution. So for those of you who have taken that course, kindly do me a favor and burn my number and don't ever call me again because I don't need those type of barnacles and parasites for friends. I have never ostracize, criticize, or put people down the way I have been put down in the past year where I've been dealing with the terrorist attacks, the death threats, the attempts on my life that are documented and real. For those of you, the few that have reached out to help, and it's a very few, bless you always. May you find eternal happiness. And for those criminals with patches, your day of reckoning will come. <laughs>